And here come the top eight seeds in the final time to final of this women's 200-yard medley relay. The Virginia Cavaliers claimed this championship last year in NCAA style. They reset their NCAA mark just last month, 131-73. And, Rowdy, that is in jeopardy here today. It, it is, and you, you've got to figure they're going to challenge that record. And I can't imagine another team beating them. Only thing that has a little chance for everybody else is Virginia have won three straight ACC titles with the fastest time in history at three ACC title. But they went slower the last couple of NCAA championships. So it gives a little life to everybody else. Not necessarily a slam dunk, but still big, big favorites for the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers, the defending champs, and again, they had to replace only one of the four who swam to the national championship last year, replacing Alex Wenger with Alex Walsh. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good trade for UVA. That's not a bad swap at all, is it? And Walsh actually swims two relays uh, this evening, the 800 free relay a little bit later on. And of course, she will swim the breaststroke leg and will be a huge favorite in the 200 IM a little bit later in the program as well. Now the two seed NC State Wolfpack, 133.02 their best this year. That's about 1.3 seconds shy of Virginia and Texas in lane three, it's only 133.7. That's the, the three top teams right there. Ohio State maybe the dark horse in all of this. Watch Alabama, Ryan White, the Olympic silver medalist up there in lane number two, leads it off for Bama. So it will be younger sister to older sister for UVA. Gretchen Walsh, the sophomore in the back. Alex Walsh, her older sister, will follow her up in the breast. Take your marks. Patrick Walsh with the second fastest time in history at the ACC's when she led it off of 22-6. That's the time that everybody's kind of pointing toward right now. 22-6, she's right there, staying underwater quite a long time. Right there at the 15-meter mark. What's her number gonna be as she transitions to her sister? Right at it, 22-7, just off that time. NC State's got a terrific team as well. They've got perhaps the best butterfly. Elon's coming up here on the third leg. So right now, early on, this is a little bit of an upset. Not a slam dunk. But boy, Virginia's got the top half of Walsh and Douglas on the end. And They've got to have a big lead. Heather McCausland in lane five, the lead for the Wolfpack. And now it's Kylie Allen, who is one of the fastest in any of the major conferences in her 50 yards fly at the ACC. 25-6 for McCausland, and Texas put themselves into it. Allen was 25-5. Allens and Lexi Cuomo, stroke for stroke, and as they make the final transition, it'll be Kate Douglas for UVA, Abby Aarons for NC State. Boy, I, Cuomo right there was the absolute key to that leg because there's no way anybody's catching Kate Douglas. They gave life back to Virginia, and there she goes. Now you, all you have to do is look at the time. And Kate Douglas powering in. The NCAA record is 131.73. Yes! 131.51. It's a new NCAA record again for the Virginia Cavaliers. 20.3. 20 20.3. 20 4. For that woman right there, Kate Douglas, fastest split in the history of the sport. She's gonna break 20, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of come a time. She is unbelievable. The whole relay put together, just fantastic. 22-7 leading off, 26-3, 22-1, as I said, absolutely key leg for Virginia, but how about Kate Douglas, 20.3, good gravy. I mean, even NC State went six tenths faster than they had all year, and they still got beat by a another second. NCAA record-setting performance by the Virginia Cavaliers. Goodness. Gretchen Walsh, Alex Walsh, Lexi Cuomo, and Kate Douglas blisters at home for an NCAA record.
If it's another big meet for the Cavaliers, it's another NCAA mark. And, and, and look at some of these splits across the board, though. Uh, Burkhoff for NC State was 22-8 on her back. As I said, McCausland, NC State 25-6. They had the early lead at the halfway point. Ellen 25-5. Three 20 points on that last relay. Albiero was 20.8 for Louisville. County 20.9 for North Carolina. 20.3. Wow. And Elizabeth Beisel is on the, the deck University with of UBA. Virginia women starting it off hot. NCAA and American record. Gretchen, I feel like the first relay is a good litmus test for the rest of the weekend. How much momentum does this give you and the University of Virginia heading into the rest of the weekend? I mean, so much. I think we focus on the first night and, you know, setting the bar high for our team. And we always just keep the ball rolling. So I think that was a great start. Um, I'm just excited now to watch the 800 free relay girls. Definitely a great start. Kate, you've been a part of the dynasty that University of Virginia has built over the last few years. You're a senior now, but you can't talk about the University of Virginia without Todd DeSorbo. What is some advice that he gave you guys coming into tonight and for the rest of the weekend? Uh, I mean, he always just tells us to, you know, have fun and just kind of um, just some for, some for the team and some for each other. And, you know, we've done the work, so we're just here to have fun now. Well, an absolutely incredible showing, you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. So the Cavaliers have done it again. 131-51 NCAA mark again for the Cavaliers. They are the first repeat 200-yard medley relay champion since Cal back in 2011 and 2012. Silver to NC State, Texas up for the bronze.